Joining us now is Hamant Tunisia, General Catalyst CEO. Hamant, thanks for joining me today. Lay out thanks this for argument me. for me. Why take a Look, pause here? The, the way AI works is essentially the, the computers have gone and read the entire internet. And it's now, which means it's a reflection on us. It's got our biases uh, in the way it thinks about the world. And it gives you probabilistic answers on anything that you ask it. So the problem with that is it can create unintentional misinformation. And it also can lead to proliferation of bias in society, something that we try very hard to avoid. So the concern, because uh, there's obviously lots of reasons to be excited as well, because AI can bring a lot of promise. The concern is we need to use it with the right responsible AI framework so we can handle these things and have the guardrails that can prevent these things from happening. So what are some examples of the types of guardrails that could be implemented? And is this a situation where government needs to get involved? And I ask that having watched recent hearings that are tech focused and not necessarily being so confident in lawmakers understanding of new technologies to begin with. Yeah, so I call these guardrails algorithmic canaries. I wrote about that in my book, Unskilled, in 2018. And the whole idea is the way we use software, we should be measuring second and third order impacts on all the stakeholders in society and seeing if there are, there are unintended consequences that are trying to emerge. The government does need to get involved because uh, when you think about how you're going to regulate uh, these uh, AI-based uh, software companies, you need to have the same sophistication on the other side to be able to measure what's going on and are they really uh, following uh, these guardrails. So the, the flip side, the counter argument to this um, is that if you regulate, you potential, potentially slow down the innovation that's involved as well. We had Keith Raboy of Founders Fund on the show yesterday. Here's what he had to say. AI is the most important technology of the future. And if China dominates, we are going to be at an incredible disadvantage in terms of influence and potentially in terms of economic power, which will inevitably lead to an American decline. So slowing down AI research makes absolutely zero sense when you're in an existential battle with someone who wants to be the replacement for the United States and Western democracy. I mean, there is this geopolitical element to it as well. Your response? Yeah, look, we have to win the AI race, but I don't think the answer is tech companies should build however they want to and then the government has to come and regulate. To me, it is about the collaboration between tech and government. And the companies need a framework of responsible AI, with which they build, they build the companies in the first place, implement algorithmic canaries, think about all the stakeholders. But then the government does need to have some oversight to make sure these companies aren't going in directions that are, are harmful to society. If we do it that way, we can actually foster innovation and really win the AI race. If we try to be, well, technology companies can think in terms of move fast and break things. And when they break things, the government's going to step in and slow it down. I think that's the mindset we want to get away from that ricochets us from innovation, uh, you know, uh, to overregulation. Yeah, you're a prominent VC. You've invested in a laundry list of very successful tech companies. How does this shape the way you're now making investments? We're very excited about it. And we are also trying to make sure we're being very intentional about how we apply these companies into building the next generation companies. And a lot of what we talk about in the firm is we need to bring AI to the world in a way that is trusted. And the way to do that is to be in radical collaboration with institutions that have that trust into different industries as technology companies work with them in creating solutions that can be applied uh, in those industries. Hamant Tunisia. Appreciate the time today.